Hey up, Dwarf Vortex. And um, I thought I'd do a video talking a bit about um, philosophy and um, philosophy of life, existentialism, all that kind of fun stuff. I don't know why, I guess particularly this time of year when it's approaching new year kind of start reflecting a bit more getting a bit more philosophical in general about well my own life my own experience where am i going next all that kind of thing uh i don't know how long this video is going to be i'm not sure exactly what i want to talk about it's usually yeah uh, usually the way i roll as it were so so my philosophy of life. Um, I'm quite a pessimist, really. Um, not too much, but definitely in terms of high approach. Uh, I mean, when I view life as a whole, I tend to see it as um, we're born with no knowledge. We acquire some knowledge as we get move through our experience of life um but we always i think one of the predominant features of existence and consciousness is doubt and i don't think that doubt is ever really um cancelled out by what you might term i guess enlightenment or um a full knowledge of everything. Uh, no, what do I mean by that? I mean, um, living in doubt is just—it's just kind of the curse of consciousness, I think. Um, now, obviously, religions have tackled this question, doubt of it in different ways, like in um, Buddhism, uh, suffering is seen as something that you have to accept but then you have to kind of try and transcend that somehow and get to nirvana in christianity you're given the promise of an ever after and good reward for good behavior or likewise hell for bad behavior heaven for good heaven for bad etc uh, etc et well obviously if you're um if you don't believe in god like i don't particularly believe in the Christian concept of God uh, I don't believe in any of the religious concepts of God then that leaves you with a bit of a predicament because it means you have to essentially search for meaning in the physical you can't rely on some metaphysical um, ever after so that means you I guess have to um, try and find meaning in something i.e. life which is essentially uh, objectively meaningless there's no objective meaning to things i mean you could say it like in a biological determinist sense i suppose we're here to propagate the species and continue that the that might be some sort of meaning found in that but that's not there's not much romance in that sort of meaning well i mean there is kind of i mean having sex is good right but it can't just be the entire uh meaning of existence um i don't think otherwise it would be but then what well, i think we, we pretty much we and i kind of like to touch something else i like to touch on actually is so I was thinking about this the other day actually and I was just about, I was about to have a bath as you do how we always think that the next and this is what a bit why I'm a pessimist really we always think that the next chapter in our life is going to be the the one where everything comes together where we discover our uh, where we become happy basically or where we feel most settled we always think that's around the corner we always have this optimistic view of the future that it's going to be, uh, you know, a really positive place, and that everything is going to change for the better. And really, I think something close to the truth probably is that alienation and, like I said, being in doubt 
is just unfortunately a part of life. And I think probably the sooner you come to terms with that as an individual, however you come to terms with it, whether it be through uh, your own internal processes, whether it be through some external thing like religion, possibly. Well, that can also be negative for better, really, because life is really never perfect. Perfection itself, as a metaphysical concept, is flawed. Well, not as a metaphysical concept, as a metaphysical context, uh, concept, it's just an ideal perfect thing, but it's in its own category, it's purely subjective. What's perfect for one person is not perfect for another, and it's just doesn't really mean anything. It's like the word, like in my opinion, obviously the word God is kind of a misdemeanor, 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 it doesn't mean anything. It's just, you might as well just say, I mean, like, linguistically, a tree means something. We all know what that means. You get an image pops into your head as soon as you say that. You say God, it can pop into your head about a bunch of symbols, I suppose, which are associated symbols, but which all kind of hint at truths. See, this is the interesting thing, I suppose, with God. I don't know, obviously, it's gonna, I'm gonna ramble on, because I'm just, it's a minimal, I'm in a monologue going on, but the interesting thing with an idea or a word like God, is that if I mention that, like, it is basically a, t a kind of human yearning for truth, a human yearning for uh, meaning. You know, if, we, if we've got a creator who created us, then we're kind of passing our autonomy and our kind of responsibility for our existence onto an external being. But in a way, it kind of provides us with some sort of meaning. So even though if you break that down, really, you say, assume that God was 100% proved to be true. Absolutely, 100%, not a bit of doubt. There's a big man up in the clouds. He comes down every now and again, and it's 100% true. No there's no um, doubt of, of the validity of that claim. Even then, would that really give us more of a sense of meaning in our lives if there was some bigger version of us that made us? I think in a lot of ways. Not, like, not really. <laughs> I mean, whether we come from incoherent, uh, chaotic... Um, uh, you, you know, universal state with a big bang where uh, even if we come from that, even if we come from chaos, even if we come from order, if you will, of God does that really that doesn't really have any um, bearing on um, I don't know the meaningfulness of life if that makes sense and obviously I'm just riffing here, I'm kind of just Riffing on life, yeah. I think earlier on, I was mentioning about how uh, we always think there's going to be perfect, around the, perfection is going to be around the corner, or that, um, you know, if I just change this, or if I just lose a bit of weight, or if I just uh, read a few more books, or if I just take this self improvement course, or this entire industry obviously that exists around people's general unhappiness, but really. <laughs> I think the more you accept that you live most of your life in doubt, that you're going to be alienated in some way, the better, really. The sooner you do that, the sooner you come to terms with your own alienation. It doesn't mean you should always accept it. I, mean, I think you can create meaning almost from trying to um, go beyond your alienation, become part of something, whether it be do charity work or you begin sometimes getting involved in politics obviously that can go quite extreme depending on what ideology or ideological kind of reality tunnel you go down to put it in a kind of Anton Wilson sort of way I suppose um sorry um but yeah I don't know it's been a bit of a ramble <laughs> Always good to have one of them to wait for my hair to dry, hence my hat's on. Um, but yeah, basically, 
I think becoming a mature adult human being is partially coming to terms with the pessimistic realization that um, you got to do it yourself. No one else is going to give you a hand. You're going to have to fight often in one way or another to get your ideas taken seriously or to um, make your mark in the world. Um, of, I think often it's much truth in the, uh, the phrase choose your battles carefully as well, I suppose. Uh, obviously, I'm just pontificating in general about life and, and I know a lot of this is just essentially uh, uh, navel gazing but I thought I'd share this anyway it just helps me kind of get my internal monologue out, uh, out of my head into the world see if anybody can identify with any of it so yeah I'll just leave it here because it's been like 11 minutes of me pontificating and talking so if you got any thoughts put them below uh, about uh, truth, God, uh, meaning, how you find meaning in your life, what alienation you feel from society or from, it's not necessarily be society, could be family, could be a religion, could be a whatever. Uh, are you naturally a pessimist or an optimist? Uh, leave your comments below. Subscribe if you like the content, not all of it's like this, a lot of my content now is game development work, but... I still like to occasionally do the old uh, talking head, uh, thinking out loud kind of video. So yeah, I'll be Noah Vortex. This has been me having some sort of philosophical ramble. <laughs>